Hello people, this is Mark Major and we are at the Action Figure Atorium. Look at that production level. As always, glad everyone could make it today. Um, this is a fantastic new series I'm going to be starting called Build a Team in which we give ourselves a budget. We head over to the uh, Marauder Gunrunners website and we basically kit bash together with all their uh, cool stuff in the catalog. We kit bash together a team. It's a lot of fun. Um, I think we're going to love doing this. I can't wait to share with you guys what I've put together. It's going to be pretty cool. So everybody strap on the leather. Hold on tight. All right, so at the Marauder Gun Rudders, they have a lot of uh, action figure parts, as you're going to see, in which you can put together characters, build both male and female um, sort of military figures. They've got a lot of modern figures and weapons, but they also have a pretty large selection, good selection, of World War II figures and accessories. Now, as you know, I've been doing this kind of weird war, diesel punk war on Instagram with um, uh, German joy toy soldiers versus the Soviet joy toy soldiers, and they fight in like mini marts and convenience stores and outside the McDonald's. And uh, this has spilled out into um, into other areas. Now I'm now bringing in Star Wars vehicles and painting them up to look like they're World War II, sort of amalgamating all these, you know, realms together. And when I saw that they had World War II figures, I was like, this is perfect. I can't wait to build a team of these guys. Um, and so I just started going down the list of all the different figures they had and what I could make. And I decided that um, my collection of Soviet soldiers, well, is pretty good and uh, puts up a pretty good fight, um, they could always use some more. And so I thought for this, wouldn't it be cool if we could put together uh, three female Soviet snipers for 60 bucks? Okay, that is the challenge. $60 is our budget, and we're going to try and make three uh, Soviet soldiers. Now, um, let me just uh, show you guys real quickly what they have to kind of merge, blend, amalgamate with. These are my joy toys. That is a um, Grand Admiral uh, Tarkin body with an Obi-Wan head that I've made into kind of a, um, a Soviet Red Star Army general for these guys because he looks kind of close. He looks like that. And uh, so this is the team that we need to, to make with our snipers. Okay, so let's switch over to where the action is. This is their website. This is the catalog, and I'm going to be adding things to the cart. We're going to add it up, and we're going to see what we get. All right, so for female figures, this is what they have. And they're basically female figure in kind of a generic jumpsuit. Could be really of any time, any era, that sort of thing, other than, you know, classical Greek or Roman. But yeah, these are modern. However, we're going to use them with our World War II stuff. We're going to make this work. Okay, so you saw the colors of the Soviets. And the closest thing that I can find is either tan with black, which is this, uh, tan with green, or brown with black. So here is are dark tan and black. Here's what the dark tan and green looks like. And then here's brown, because the Soviets wore brown, even though you didn't see those guys really wearing any brown. They were the, kind of the brown army. All right. So what I've decided is we are not going to do the green. We're going to keep the black. I think the black's the way to go. And in my opinion, I believe the dark tan fits the best with the Soviet soldiers. So we're going to do two of these, add those to cart, right? Uh, but 
we're also going to do one of the brown. Here's the reason why. Um, because we have the option to. Because Gun Runners lets us, you know, make uh, choices where we could do a couple in tan, a couple in brown. We got to do it. It seems the absolute correct way to go. So let's see here. Make sure that's added to the cart. Um, yes, we're up to about $36 right now with just three bodies. Okay. Um, a couple of things I also want to mention as we go here. Um, one is that um, we want to lean on this toy company for things that we don't have. For example, I have a whole bunch of sniper weapons. I have modern sniper weapons, I have space age futuristic sniper weapons, and I have like 1940s World War II sniper weapons. Okay, so we're not going to bother with sniper weapons. Also, I've got lots of things like you know, uh, purses and bags and satchels and kits and stuff like that. So we're not going to spend a lot of time with that. You don't really need a lot of that uh, in the first place, but I have all that kind of stuff. So we're just going to look for things that I don't have. I sh should have mentioned that before. Also would like to mention um, in regards to the colors, we're going to try and get as close as we can with what you can just get off the shelf. However, if you need to, with this level of action figure toy, you can customize and paint it if you want. And in fact, we're going to do a little bit of painting to a few of the items as we go. I'll show you which items, not much, just a little bit. So, so far we have three bodies. Now we're going to uh, move on to heads. We need three female heads. Let's see if I can uh, find that here. All right, three female heads. So because these are Soviet, we're not going to go with the white hair. We're not going to go with the bright yellow hair. We're not going to go with um, dark skin. Uh, we're going to keep it the light skin and a lot of brown hair. Light, light brown hair, dark brown hair, sandy brown hair, all that kind of stuff. And we want to make sure they all have different hairstyles and that we can tell they have different hairstyles. We don't want to get the same hairstyle but three different colors. We want We want it to all be sort of blended in or, uh, organic looking. So one of the heads we're going to get is the s sandy brown, right? Light brown. Let's add that to cart. Done with that. Let's see here. We're going to get the uh, the brown with the French braid. Same face sculpt, by the way, but that's OK. Can't really tell once you put on the accoutrements on it. All right, and then finally, you can see there's a lot to pick from, but we are going to go with this girl. She has got uh, the big hair. She's the big hair girl in uh, dark brown, and it's kind of, um, it's, you know, it's bangs, kind of uh, not too long, long as it's grown out. So let's add her to cart. All right, we're up to $42. $60 is essentially where we want to go. Okay, so what do we need now? Um, the next thing I'm going to buy for these guys, because we need them to be Soviets, is we're going to pick out some helmets and headgear. Uh, we're going to get a couple of scarves. Okay, so we've got these little bandana guys. And we're going to get uh, two of the short red ones for the girls in tan. Okay, and then we're going to get one of these bigger scarves for the girl in brown. Just part of the whole, you know, they need to look like they're part of a team because they all got red neckwear, but two are matching, one's different. All right, after that, we are going to move on to some uh, specifically Russian, should, should say Soviet. I don't think that they should call it Russian. I think they should call it Soviet. I think they should change that on the website. That's my only complaint at the moment. Don't have to agree. It would help if you agreed. So we are here at the Soviets. We're going to add one of these hats. 
for one of the girl. The girl with the braid is going to wear this. It's only a buck twenty-nine, by the way. If you guys didn't know how cheap this stuff is, and we're going to add one of these hats. These are a little more expensive. These are tougher. Two seventy-nine. These are cool, though. No one else really kind of has these. Right, so we're going to get one of the other hat, one of these hats, and the other girl. This is how we're going to keep her budget. With the big hair, has no hat. What do you think of that, folks? The no hat girl. All right, that puts us up to forty-eight ninety-nine. Call that forty-nine dollars. All right, so the other thing we're going to get. There's these Russian belts that have a red star on them. We're going to get these, one for each girl, and we're going to paint the stars because we need to get more red star Russian things on our figures to make them Soviets. And uh, so we're going to take three of these, add those to cart. We're up to 5286. There's not much more room to go, but we're almost done. Now, check this out. This is two ammo pouches uh, for a buck twenty-nine. I'm going to buy just one set but each girl in tan uh, is going to have one. So rather than give two pouches to one person, two people are each going to have a pouch. Right? And then we're going to go back up to pockets, pouches, and armor. We are going to go to ammo pouches. And we're going to get this. The other girl in the dark brown needs an ammo pouch too. It doesn't have to be the same ammo pouch as the other girls. Doesn't matter. So we're going to get her this kind of uh, tan one. It'll look really nice to have the tan against the dark brown. All right, we're up. We're up to fifty-four fifty. We got about five bucks left. So with the remaining five dollars, we're technically done as far as I'm concerned at this point. We're, it's about as good as it can get, but we want to sort of add a little bit of magic onto this. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to uh, elbow pads and knee pads. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get one pair. of the knee pads with brown. Each sniper girl in the dark tan is going to have one on her right knee. The reason is when you take a shot with a rifle, a lot of times you'll get down in the firing position of one knee and so we're going to put one knee pad on the right knee so that they can get down on one knee. That is why, by the way, folks, stormtroopers have that weird flat thing on their armor so they can get down on one knee and take a shot. And they're good shots, too. They're real good shots. Okay, so we're going to get, for the tan girls, they're going to have brown, because the tan with the brown will stick out. So we got one set is all we need. And then we are also going to get one pair of elbow pads. Each girl is going to have one pad on her left elbow so when they take a right knee the left elbow can get down on something if they need to it'll look cool trust me it'll look cool let's add that to cart okay 5728 and we're going to get one more pad of uh one more knee pad cuz the middle girl in dark brown She's going to have one, and what's going to happen is we're going to be stuck with one left over. We're going to have an extra one. We can, If we make another sniper down the road, she can have it. All right, 5877 is our total here, and I am done buying. Um, I am done buying at 5877. This is all we need. Don't need anything else. Now you're probably wondering, well, what does this all look like? Good news, I have the figures in hand and we're going to take a look at them. Um, let me just uh, switch over to, uh, there we go. 
So this is what the stuff looks like when they send it to you. It all comes in bags. This is exactly what I bought. There's the three figures, the three heads, the bandanas. Um, there's the three belts. There's some headgear. There's a bunch of ammo pouches, etc. Elbow pads, knee pads. Now, here are all the futuristic space age sniper guns I have. Here's the modern sniper guns, and in a bag somewhere, I'm going to pull out the um, I'm going to pull out the 1940s one. We'll definitely see them in the girls' hands. Okay. Here is what they look like um, assembled with just the stuff I bought. This is what I got, kids, for 58 something and change, a little under 60 bucks. By the way, their, their shipping is a flat 295. I think that's pretty cool. So there it is. They are the sniper gang without any guns. Now let's add some guns to them. Let's also add the paint apps. Here's what I'm doing. I'm going to color in the boots black so they look more like World War II boots. And I'm going to paint red on the star on the belt. So uh, let's see the next slide. There we go. That's what they look like with the paint apps. That's my fake blue, uh, blue sky back there. Um, that's with uh, some modern weapons and a space age weapon. Weapons are a little too big for the women, in my opinion. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the next slide I'm going to show you guys is the sniper girls with the 1940s weapons and some soft goods. And the soft goods come from some of your favorite Star Wars Kenner toys. So a uh, special shout out to them. Here we go. This is the, and the dog, you know, I mean, they actually sell dogs, uh, articulated dogs at the, um, at the Gunrunner's site. I'm going to get one for my Mad Max figure. He needs a dog. Hopefully one of the handkerchiefs will fit on the dog, I should ask. Wonder if, uh, wonder if they, um, I don't know, wonder if they'll help you build stuff out, tell you what works, what doesn't. So it looks pretty cool. Also, I have to note that, um, these guys sent me a bonus Russian tanker hat, just a freebie. Um, wasn't anything I asked for at all. It was something I was planning to get maybe eventually later on. I plan to buy some more, you know, uh, hats and accessories and stuff like this. But this stuff looks pretty cool. So there you are with the capes, etc. The three hats, they look pretty good with those type of weapons, I think. Let's see them with the full team. There we are. There's kind of a class photo. There's several of these uh, joy toys there. There's actually one Lucasfilm Soviet officer in the back. His color matches the dark tan troops really well. I wonder how well they match um, Gunrunner's own Soviet troops. That would be interesting to, uh, to find that out. But that's a family pick right there, folks. And uh, sometimes... Sometimes it just works. So this has been the first episode of Build a Team. I plan to do more of these. In fact, the next one I do, I think we're going to do um, three World War II German soldiers from the, uh, the sort of autumn camo. And we're going to see, is it better to build three from scratch or to take one of the $30 figures that does come with an extra $10 worth of stuff and get a couple extra guys and sort of make a team that way. Hmm, interesting to, uh, to find out. So with that, thanks to everybody who made it this far. And as always, folks, stay charged. Mm -hmm.